Welcome everybody. This is the Day Trader Daily Review, Stock Option Daily Review for January 29th, 2019. I'm Scott. Joining us is Coach Rob. Coach Rob, were we able to make a little bit of money trading stock options today? We definitely were. And the, the bears helped us out with some red moves. So let's let's jump right in and this, for this day on the 29th, let's just start from the beginning instead of looking in retrospect. This Tilray stock is one that we've been talking about a lot recently in our trade reviews. Uh, and it's not always up or down. It, it, it'll, it's a grab bag. So it'll give you either. And I uh, kind of just wanted to explore with, with you and uh, the viewers about how Tilray shaped up on this day. And you can see it started out now. One of the common things that we talk about in, in coaching when I coach my students is those first five minutes of the day, you generally don't want to trade them. It's wild. Uh, it's unpredictable. You can see that Tilray, if you if you got it in an opening bell, you would have thought, wow, it's going to be a really green day for this stock. But then the next four minutes, it is reacting to that huge candle. And the reason for the first five minutes being kind of a no-fly zone is it's settling in from overnight trading. So overnight trading had, requires special access, so only a few people can trade overnight, and it's, it can send the, the stocks and the indices into a tailspin until they get their feet under. So what that boils down to is increased risk, so you just stay out for the first five minutes and then give it, give it some time to each stock and each index will tell you its story if you just let the, the time play out. So we're just creeping forward one minute at a time and Tilray is a little bit sideways. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We're getting away from opening price a little bit with some excessive volume. So let's study it and see exactly how far it's gonna go. And these lines right here, like the pivot, are resistance and support lines that we have studied or, or that, that are known out there, just the price points, as just being kind of turnarounds. So watch for candles and, and price movement to stick around these time frames and just kind of act differently. So monitor what they're doing. Tilray seems to be breaking up above that pivot line now, but it really hasn't declared a direction. It could be either way. And now we're breaking down below. And yeah, there's a nice healthy candle down with some with the red star the red star is a an indicator i wanted to talk about with tilray specifically because it pops up not only on your chart but also on your main list if you can see it right here so it's it's a pretty powerful one there wasn't a lot happening in the market tilray is actually going against the market right now but this this stock has that kind of rogue reputation Red star is a combination of multiple indicators all boiled down into one that our programmer, Alan, just kind of put together as powerful indicators. So if they all turn on at one moment, you'll see this star. And it really is marine proof, as they say. All I have to do is watch for one or two indicators, and it gives me a volume of information. So let's get into a uh, put option on Tilray here. It's also breaking down to that CLD of zero, like we've talked about before, Scott, being a powerful one, where it is for the day. The close location value, it's at its lowest. So if we move forward just one minute at a time, and we're getting some nice, really nice gains within that, that one minute. Now here, you, you still have signal. You're getting that blue star indicator, which, which can be a turnaround. So I would say just watch it here, but the volume is not necessarily a spike, it is just really, really high volume that we've seen start trends earlier in the day. So if you're in any doubt, you look back and see what that stock has done with high volume spikes earlier and just kind of say, hey, that's its behavior for today. So there might be a big seller out there who's saying, I wanna get out of my position one chunk at a time and you watch it, see how far it goes down, and right here, you're back to a 7% gain, but there's really nothing. The market has gone green for you, and there's, there's no real reason to stay in that stock at that point. It would all be guesswork. That blue, blue star pretty much got us, ended the trend. So we had 14 there. 
within a couple seconds, you probably would have seen that Y point, that resistance line. So you probably could have gotten out with a nice 10%, 10 to 12% gain, but we'll call it right there at 7% and we'll just see what that, happens. Yeah, that's a good point about, pardon me, about the uh, replay is, is it works on minutes. Whereas when you're doing it live, you would be seeing, you know, the first couple seconds, the next couple seconds, it went down and started going against you. And right. so you would get out somewhere between that 14 and seven and seven percent. So exactly. And oh, and just uh, here's here's a coach's tip for for today is with our replay simulator. You're, you're absolutely right. If I push forward and backwards, I'm moving one minute at a time. But there are a lot of keystrokes that our man Alan uh, really liked and programmed in. So if you hold shift plus forward, you can move forward 10 seconds at a time. Oh, cool. Yeah. As you can see during or in this clock here, as well as up at the top, it shows you the actual time. So what we could have done is gone to that in that minute and then seen exactly what would have happened in those, those next 10 seconds. And it was the start of a, a turnaround. So immediately after the 952 minute ticked by, we, we saw that Y point and we saw a small green turnaround and that's enough enough to get us out after a blue star, especially when the market's not supporting us. Good. And 7% in a few minutes is not too bad anyway. Right. And if you, so the, the, the point of, of the exercise is, yeah, if you got out five seconds after that Y point materialized, you'd probably be sitting somewhere closer to 10 or 12% <clears throat> instead of seven. Cool. Was there another stock that uh, did well today? Absolutely. And uh, it's our, our old friend Amazon making a, a reappearance after a while uh, away from the trade reviews. So let's take a look. And we kind of start from the beginning of the day here. You've got a lot of cyclical action with Amazon, but it's, it's pretty much following SPY and the basket in its, in its cycles. So the reds come when the basket goes red and the greens are coming when the basket's going green. So that's good. We can get some market agreement with Amazon. And if we just kind of bounce forward, it's, it's stuck in this risk zone. And that's something we talk about quite frequently as being just, just don't trade in the risk zone. It doesn't make any sense. It's a powerful indicator uh, that we only we have in our software. And there's no reason uh, that you need to risk it because how many times have we said this, Scott? <clears throat> there have been a million trades before. And there will be a million trades after. Just be patient and wait for it to break out of the risk zone. Right. So if we <laughs> we don't want to take uh, more risk than we have to, and when it's in the risk zone, it's risky. That's right. How and many times can we say it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but look at this red move. Yeah, no. How, how many times should we say it? As many as necessary That's until right. people start listening. <laughs> But here, here we're at, uh, we're past that 10.30 mark, and Amazon has gotten down below the risk zone, but it can't decide whether it wants to stay above this SA support line or break down below it. So if you follow its behavior, it is really, really indecisive until we start getting some red candles with K-band coming on. We've got that red signal. The market has given us a little bit of red support. And Amazon is starting to break down below its, its previous levels. So the CLV, which we talk about a lot, is at three. So it's almost at its low for the day. There's just a little bit of a wick back here at 1023 that, that, was, that was lower. So we're in pretty much new territory. We're breaking out on, on, on the day. And you can confirm that with longer time frames. But here's a good time to get in we'll bring over our replay uh buy close window and when it's going red you want to buy a put so we'll buy another put just like we did on tilray and move forward one minute at a time to see what happens and we're starting okay we're getting lower lows now we're sitting at four percent and we've got volume it is much more volume than we've seen all day so this is one of those instances where you just let it play out and see how it's going to react. Volume can stop the trend or it can, can 
you know, kind of catapult the trend into a high gear. So let's see what happens. And we got more volume and even more sellers. You're sitting right there at 17% gain and you're breaking the seven day break below. Now that is another important uh, resistance and support line. Break aboves and break belows. The longer the time frame, generally, the more powerful it is. But stocks just tend to have funny movement around previous highs, previous lows. So this would be a good time to close out that trade. And it was a nice, what, four minute trade. Let's take a look at the results for 16.5% in three minutes. Beautiful. Yeah. The it's lower than it's been in seven days, and uh, it yeah continued on, but we didn't know that it would, and we don't need to be greedy. Right, and you, you probably would have doubled your profits if you held, but like you said, greed, greed is a powerful emotion that can motivate uh, bad decisions when it's not obvious. You think, you look back in retrospect, be like, yeah, it was a big red trend but you can only go off of what you know at, at the moment. And That's I know right. we were hitting that, that break below and I didn't like it. So, or I liked it enough that I would just exit and take, take the profit that we had. That's right. Yeah. It's a, you, we've talked about risk this week uh, quite a bit. And when you hit that point, you're now in a, you've gone from a, Oh, this is pretty good. And, and uh, you know, fairly certain low risk. And now it's like, Oh, high risk because, at every second of every day, we don't know if the stock is going to go up or go down. Uh, and it's going to do one of those two things. And so you want to, you want to take the easy money, yeah. not the high risk money. The simplicity that you just described is also why so many people fall prey to that gambler's mentality <clears throat> and lose money in this. It seems simple. It sounds very simple. The stocks either go up or down and that's, absolutely accurate but that's an oversimplification of of the strategy you need to be consistently profitable right uh, that's not a strategy the stock goes up and the stock goes down is not a strategy flip a coin right <laughs> I mean, it's a it may be a fact but you you if you're going to be guessing then 50 percent of the time you're going to be wrong and it's going to go down when you thought it was going to go up and go up and you thought it was going to be that going down and uh, that's right I always remember decades ago, someone told me about Forex and then they told me this guy was really good at Forex and could teach me and he was really bad at Forex and couldn't teach. Mm. And his software just didn't work. And I basically joked that if you wanted to make money in Forex, you would watch me and then when I bought, you would sell. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty much 100% wrong. I was pretty much 100% wrong. <laughs> and I was following exactly what they were saying you should do, right? And then it was like three or four years later, somebody told me, yeah, like that guy didn't know what he was doing. So, so important that you work with people that are successful traders. Right. And <clears throat> the, the beauty of our coaching program is that it doesn't, it's not just, hey, us giving you step one, step two, step three for a good strategy. No, we, we have the replay simulator built in that nobody else out there really has. And what that allows you to do, that plus a trade log, an accurate trade log, if you put all of your data in there objectively, you can start to see patterns and see what rules you make are working, what rules are not working and need to be either modified or tossed out. And then you put them all together, you test them over hundreds of repetitions before you ever, and this is all in a zero risk replay simulator environment, before you ever put any real money on the line, you have proven through the replay simulator that through evidence that your rules are, are effective. And that's, that's the only way you take it forward into the live market. Otherwise, you just back to the drawing board and start, a, you know, start some new rules, try some new experiments exactly all right so we made uh, 6.8 percent in three minutes and then in another three minutes we made 16.5 percent that's right pretty nice day 
That's a good one, yeah. And you're done. The morning is over. Now you can uh, go for a run, take the dog for a walk, read a book, whatever it is you like doing in life. You can now spend the rest of your day doing that instead of sitting at a cubicle somewhere. <laughs> better life that way, yep. Way better life. Awesome. Thank you, Coach Rob. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 29th, 2019. Our goal is not to teach you every single thing there is to know about stock options. It's just to show you that we have a system that works. We have a software that works. We have a coaching program that works. And if you're interested in learning how to use stock options uh, to increase the value of your savings or your, um, your, your capital, then uh, let us know because we'd love to talk to you a bit more about this. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.